episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And I'm Nick Slade. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the mission trailer, the Cal's mission trailer for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. We've already done a couple of trailer reactions to this. We saw the E3 one, which was nice. Didn't really show much. We liked it, but general mm -hmm. consensus was it was just Star Wars Uncharted. Um, <laughs> Pretty much what the it second is. the second walkthrough we got was a bit better. It was more of a behind closed doors demo, which like the first half it was like new footage stuff like, and it was better. Um, here with the third one, we're definitely getting a actual full trailer experience about what to experience story wise. A lot of experience in that word, and like we got in the second one, we got a lot more story elements. We got we showed that. What they've been promising, which is like more of a like a I want to say Metroidvania S style thing, where you can, whereas areas you can only come back to later. We have a like new you can travel, yeah, you travel to different planets. You know, back it's and go not back and exactly forth. full linear stuff like that. So like, so here uh, I'm hearing positive things about this. There's a lot of good things apparently coming from this trailer, and a lot of more promising stuff. Yeah. Of course, it comes from Respawn, the guys behind Titan, the Titanfall series. And, you know, of course, the former former um, Infinity War uh, developers. Yeah, already being confirmed that there is no multiplayer. There is no, like, extra stuff you have to purchase, uh, you know, money-wise, for, like, loot boxes at all. Because it's EA, and they now always have to say that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, but, okay. yeah, but this is, we're, now we're getting the official trailer mission, uh, 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 this is pretty much the official story trailer. Pretty much of what's going on, why Cal's doing what he's doing, pretty much what's his end game overall what's he trying to find out and things like that so um you saw a lot of this have you have you already for the fallen order stuff uh not the full trailer uh not too much of it or at least some type of footage of it and stuff like that not too much of it i haven't had a chance to see too much though this will be my first time seeing the, the full okay aspect. okay cool that's awesome that's awesome all right let's dive into this yeah, this is fine. for uh star wars jedi fallen order cal's mission the all official right. trailer so here we go all right here Nope, I keep I know, I know. Every time. I wonder how much this is actual gameplay footage. Well, this is. Ooh. Yeah, this is actual gameplay. Oh, isn't that the Inquisitor guy? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this is when he first meets them. Mm -hmm. I know you don't trust me. But we have a common enemy. And a common cause. She looks familiar. Oh, Deborah Wilson. She's also in the uh, Marvel Warfare story as well. Oh, wow. I love that mask. <laughs> Where are we going next? Where are we going to next? Yeah. That's Star Wars with a cute droid. Yeah. <laughs> That's on your little phone. Oh, wow. Damn. Wow, what is that? Is Holy shit. Oh, what? Those are some interesting store shippers. soon <laughs> it's around the corner um yeah wow. that was really cool that it showed awesome. a lot more of what you're going to experience pretty much in, in your travels as well pretty much yeah i mean yeah it still feels like uncharted-esque in a way but like definitely a lot more action than i thought there was going to be to be mm -hmm. honest yeah. exactly and it's showing how pretty much in the beginning i like how they showed off how you're meeting up with the, you, this is your first time meeting the team because yeah. the other trailers it's like you already saw him already kind of working with them a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it's like, and yeah, okay. you even run, you even encounter Forrest, Forrest, Wiz Forrest Whitaker's character from Rogue One, pretty much. You meet oh, him. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you, you actually run into do him. meet yeah. him. So this game much. is canon? Yeah, this game is canon. They're it saying takes, this is officially canon, all this that you've seen here. This takes place after the events of Rogue One, but still before the events of Episode Four. Okay. I mean, no, A New Hope, pretty much. 
as a yeah. Jedi time frame. Yeah, it's that time frame pretty much. Yeah, the story when, takes place. Yeah, when a lot of the Jedi pretty much are like either dead or in hiding. I'm pretty hiding much. pretty much, and now it's like when well, now we're following him. So we didn't really get his end game of what's going on, what he's trying to do. But, but you do, like, you get to see when. He has to make that choice about no longer being high and actually has to help them. Yeah. Because he's a Padawan. Like, oh, when, when yeah. Order 66, he was just a pa- young yeah, Padawan. Yeah, they say that he's just a, he was just a Padawan by the time we meet this character. He, you know, he's already in hiding, but even be, after going into hiding, he was a he was just a Padawan at the time. Yeah, when so Order 66 happened. So, like... So, he escaped uh, Hannigan's little... Uh, and he's been in hiding this entire <laughs> time. And But we still don't... One thing they still haven't shown is what's that crux that, like... They vaguely hinted at what may be in the C, first CG trailer for it, but they yeah. didn't really get to tell us the story-wise. So we're assuming this is around the point where that happens, what they showed here, pretty much. That's where they at. The Wilson's character asks him, "Are you with us?" Pretty much, because we're we're tired. We're, we're tired. It's fighting. like now he's gotta make that. This it looks like it's like now he's gotta make the decision of you know I'm, I'm fully out now. You know now he has to start caring about other people, pretty much. Yeah. You know it's like he, now he has to worry about a new type of family. He yeah, has. and you see this, and you see he is on the hunt for something. We don't know exactly what yet, and that's why it probably explains why you have to go to multiple planets. That's why they show the different mission select like screen thing. Yeah, pretty much. And they said there is no, there is no pretty much like how they did with the Force Unleashed, pretty much where it's like oh you have to choose if you're dark or light side. Or, no, they said this is one. Like, full-on... This has a beginning and an ending, pretty much. Yeah. There's no, like, okay, your decisions are going to change. Yeah, uh, there's no things. light or dark side morality choices. You are yeah. full-on light side the entire time. The higher, entire time. But you do have, like, a, a you know, choice wheel, stuff like that, like, uh, how you want to conversate with certain people. And stuff like, like, he that. even has this unique freezing ability, forced freezing ability, where he... It's this weird thing where he... Can set, like... In a split second, he can consecu- he consecutively can push and pull you, but he does it. S- it's s- it's so fast that it looks like they're standing still. They're standing right? still, so they're you're frozen in place. Yeah, he's moving them, but it is like so that he can go around and start attacking some of them. Yeah, it's a really cool new ability that they're adding into it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, but overall, gameplay wise, uh, what did you think? I yeah. thought it looked really cool. Mm-hmm. Like, it's amazing how far graphics have come in video games, mm-hmm. especially over the past mm-hmm. ten years. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, it looks like a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Like, like, you actually get to be a Jedi in this world. And uh, what I'm interested is who the... You say it was the, 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 uh, the guy in the mask with the red lightsaber was called the Inquisitor? Yes. Yeah, it looks like they're pulling it from uh, the... Um, the for cult. Rebels? From either Rebel... I forgot. No, it was Rebels. It was Rebels. It was Rebels, pretty much. Star Wars it's, Rebels, the animated it's, series. It's these hot... I, I suck at Star Wars lore, but from what I do know, it's, it's these, these high-up spec ops, uh, store, like, uh, em- Empire soldiers, pretty much who know how to take on Jedi. Like, so and specifically they wield, they train. Wield the four, they, they also can wield... They pretty much they wield the dark side of the force. They do? Yeah, they do. Okay, see, I didn't know that. Yeah, so like, like she's got a lightsaber. They, they were lightsaber. specifically trained... I, I'm, I think it's they're specifically trained by Vader to, like, combat other Jedi. Yeah. That's interesting that um, Sidious would allow that because the whole rule, too... So it kind of makes me think that he must have wiped them out after they... This must have been, like, he must have knew Vader was doing this, but he was fine because Vader was still dark side and shit. So he's like, yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, or no, no, in his voice, yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, Because <laughs> um, I remember in what's now not canon, Force Unleashed, uh, when he found out Vader was training a new... Uh, a Padawan. A new Padawan. Like he had him kill him. And during Clone Wars, we found out Dooku and Ventress, he had him try to kill her. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm kind of interesting uh, how much Sidious knows about this program and what and what he actually thinks about it. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. The Inquisitors are just one of... I saw many enemies. It looks like you'll be fighting here. And, like, like overall, it does look good. Yeah, it has the EA stamp on it. But, like... Yeah. You they're, trying, to, they're trying to they're trying to pull themselves out of the rut that they were in after like Battlefront stuff like that and all the yeah. flack with all that. So they're trying to get back into the single player type of mode. Where That's why they're really like pushing the fact that this hasn't have any micro tra- transactions whatsoever in it. or even any type of multiplayer at all. It's just like a full on the the single player game pretty much. Which yeah. I still think I still believe that it's like those are still the end thing pretty much. I mean. God of War proved it pretty much, and other games have been proving it where it's like single player is still a good way to go sometimes, yeah, not yeah. multiplayer all the time. And I think that's what EA is trying to do with this game here. We're giving it a good solid story, you know, but still trying to give a, del- deliver some spectacle pretty much. Yeah, so other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else, when it comes to talking about video games, hit the subscribe button down below. Hit that bell icon as well. 
Let us know what you guys thought of this uh, trailer overall. Are you still excited to see this? Uh, oh, not see this. We play this game pretty much overall. Are you still skeptical? Are you just gonna wait till you know, you know, more of the reviews come out or see what other people say about it? Um, you know, did you want a single player type of Star Wars uh, story pretty much? Or are you still still into the whole? You know, you want multiplayer. You want to play with friends, stuff like that. Just let us know pretty much. I mean, and again, as always, if we got any information incorrect or anything like that, we do apologize. You know, we don't we don't dive too much into Star Wars lore, but we know just enough to try to get by. So if he said anything wrong or messed up something, or I said anything wrong, or any of us did, we apologize. Uh, but let us know what you guys thought of our reaction overall. But most importantly, we thank you for watching. And where can they find you? Uh, they can find my fiction stories on my website, nicholasslade.com. And if they want to check out some of my articles, they can check out floridageekscene.com, where I have a weekly uh, weekly blog about professional wrestling called Spandex and Suplexes. So I hope you guys check it out. We'll have the links for all those down below. Yeah. So until next time, I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And I'm Nick, and may the Force be with you. On uh, a very uh, Force-filled episode of SRV. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out your previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter, as well as Stardust, at Super React Bros.